Welcome back, folks. You are watching the Daily Driver Weekend Edition for March 14th and 15th, 2009. I'm Philippe Kahn, and I'm a lot like Jim Cramer, just not as subtle or nuanced. We've got some big news for you today, folks, in the BMW world. And I'm talking about some free stuff that the Bavarian automaker is offering. That's right, I said free. And when I say free, I'm talking about gratis, no charge, complimentary, pro bono, your gift with purchase, and no small gifts either here, folks. I'm talking about leather interiors, iPod adapters, navigation systems, and cold weather packages. Do I have your attention? Good. Here's the news. For 2010, BMW has created the value package for model year 2010 in the 5 Series. Personally, I think it's a crappy name, but we'll get to that in just a second. For 528 and 535i models, this value package includes a leather interior and an iPod adapter. On 528xi, 535xi, and 535 wagon models, this includes a leather interior, iPod adapter, and a cold weather package. Finally, for a 550, this value package includes navigation system and an iPod adapter. We're talking about between $1,800 and $2,500 worth of stuff, folks. And the cost of all this? Zero. Zippo. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. Nunya. Nunit. You can look at this a couple of different ways, folks. And so let me allow you to slide, let me, let me slice and dice this for you here just so we can dissect this. On the one hand, you can say that BMW has increased standard equipment. On the other hand, you can just as validly say that they have cut prices. There is no price increase between the 2009s and 2010s, and yet the 2010s come with a lot more stuff. So, some smart savvy buyers out there might say, aha! This is a bad time to buy a 5 Series. Why buy now when I can wait a couple of months and pick up all this free stuff standard? Not so fast, Billy Ray. Remember that on the 2009s, BMW is currently offering $2,500 worth of lease cash on leases, or they're making your first two payments on finance contracts, plus giving you 0.9% financing up to 60 months. I can guarantee you that this will not be available for the 2010s, at least not initially. So, when you look at this, folks, you can say that BMWs move the money around, kind of move the pieces around the board, but in the process, they've created a very strong buying incentive for both the 2009s and the 2010s. And on another note, when you eliminate production complexity like this, make more stuff standard, eliminate some options, you make it easier to produce an automobile, which results in a cost savings for BMW. So really, everybody wins here, and I'm talking about from the manufacturer to the consumer and everyone in between. Which brings me to my only problem with this package, and that's the name. Really, BMW value package? Couldn't your marketing guys come up with something better? I mean, it reminds me of VW. You remember when VW used to have to give away mountain bikes and iPods just so people would buy their cars? Then again, VW did post a 15% increase in profits last year, so maybe we need to take a page out of VW's book on this one. All right, folks, let's shift gears here. I just feel compelled to take a moment to comment on what's been happening in the real world with regards to Jim Cramer and John Stewart. You've probably seen Stewart taking Cramer to task lately for all the bad advice he's given out in a very short span of time. And that did hit a nerve with me, quite frankly, because I, I got to admit, I identify with Cramer. I mean, you know, no, I'm not on a major network. No, I'm not giving out financial advice. But I do get up here and play the fool and purport to know what I'm talking about about and and try to you know and for many people what I'm talking about is going to be the second biggest purchase they make ever so I'm sensitive to that and I just want to go on record and say that I really hope that nobody ever makes a bad decision based on the stuff that I say I am just here folks so that hopefully you can make a somewhat educated decision on all things BMW and I hope you can see that I have a lot of fun sharing my passion and my enthusiasm with you folks it's no secret we're in something of a mess these days with regards to the financial markets I'm not a genius in that regard. I have no idea how we're going to get out of this or when, but I do know that I've got a camera, a couple of computers, a Blackberry, a desk, and a voice, and until further notice, I'll be using all of those to the fullest of my ability. All right, folks, that's all there is for this edition of The Daily Driver. I'm Philippe Kahn, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.